Dosso, Asha Smith from three, a decent start for her, Dosso nearly alongside, here comes Kambunji, Asha Smith is out, Kambunji, Lukenkemper trying to chase, oh my word, Lukenkemper, with Nita also closing, that had way more drama than we were anticipating, and you could even write, so in the end, Nita, fastest qualifier, but we don't break 11 seconds, at least that's what the clock stops at. 11 dead. Kambunji just looking. It's been given to Lukenkemper, who does incredibly complete the set. Bronze, silver and gold across the last three European championships. Well, that is truly incredible. And there'll be some in this stadium who really believe she could do it, and others who think that's some surprise. Kambunji then, they've been given the same time, officially now it is below 11, 10.99, and it means so much to Luken Kemper, she won the relay bronze medal in Eugene, where unfortunately the Brits, from their point of view, faltered with that injury to Dina Asher-Smith, who wasn't recovered. Daryl Nita follows up her Commonwealth medal with one then in the Europeans. Well, where did that come from, from Gina Luke and Kemper? Out in lane six, and there was absolutely nothing to suggest in her pre-championship form that she was going to challenge the likes of Majinga Kambunji and Daryl Nita, nor Dina Asher-Smith, whose injury issues came back to haunt her. Look at the tears flooding down. Germany's first champion at the sprint since Verena Saylor 12 years ago. Kambunji, well, she got a bronze six years ago on home soil when they were in Zurich, was aiming just to become the second Swiss woman ever to win a European Championships title. She got so close, it came down to thousands of a second. Once again, Daryl Nita just denied after looking so, so good in the semi-finals. After that, everyone was a long way back. It was those three. We'll try and give you an update on the situation with Dina Asher-Smith, but it did look as though it was the problem that plagued her in the relay in Eugene. Well, the medics just paying some attention to Lukenkamper. I think she just took a bit of a knock on the wrist as she fell over the line. And Lukenkamper just comes from a long, long way back. Kambunje, an absolutely terrific start from her. Svoboda, the 60-metre specialist, drops back after 50 metres. There she goes, she takes a tumble, rolls over on her wrist. Well, the pain was immediately forgotten once she crossed the line. It's taken a minute or two for it to <laughs> go through the nervous system. Well, I cannot recall a women's major international championship that was split by just one one hundredth of a second between the three medalists. That's one for looking up further down the line. She just can't believe it. I think she's probably taken a sprain on the wrist. Hopefully that won't affect her baton hand. I don't know quite what it is. She just can't believe it. But where did that come from? It's blood, sweat and tears, quite literally, isn't it, for Luke and Kemba. That's her fifth medal in uh, three editions of these championships. So, so close. I almost want to cry just looking at the way that she burst into tears there. Kambunji, though, such a consistent performer. She really made her name after those home championships in Zurich, and this time it's another athlete in their own backyard, as it were, on the top step of the podium. But uh, if you're the gold medalist, you get the attention of the medical staff quite quickly, don't you? And uh, she'll be glad to see that, running through all the emotions. But look at the face, though, of Daryl Nita. She was, wanted more than that. I was going to say, the quick exit from the track of Daryl Nita says everything. She was brilliant in the semi-finals, dipping underneath 11 seconds, and just, as you said, Phil, maybe letting the occasion get the better of her. She just looked tense, couldn't quite push past Kumbunji and Luke and Kempfer in the closing stages. And Kumbunji as well got a lightning quick start, did super well to hold on to second place. And a shame to see Dina Asher-Smith. She threw her hands up when she had to stop in frustration.